Greetings everyone, Core here. Time for another midnight review. Tonight, I went to go see Jurassic World Dominion, which is the sixth movie for the Jurassic Park series, third movie in the second trilogy, which is the Jurassic World trilogy. So, But nonetheless, it kind of ties a lot from Jurassic Park, at least the first movie, even the second movie, because there's a Jeff Goldblum's in the second movie, not the third, because there's nobody from the third movie in this one. Uh, yeah, pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, they they make an appearance. They actually play a pretty big role. I like the way that they did the movie, uh, which I gotta say, there's no mid credit scene, so don't wait for that. Uh, I didn't say until the very end, but I'm pretty sure there's no very end mid credit scene or no end credit scene because. It just seems like everything just wraps up pretty much neatly enough. And I don't think they'll, if anything, they'll probably reboot the whole thing. But, yeah, uh, I, the story, I, I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I was expecting, like, I mean, I've seen the trailers. I saw, yeah, they take blue, um, you know, the, that's the whole, you know, the poachers and smugglers. Like, they, they gotta go get blues, um. They don't get blue, but the blue's baby, uh, wrapped the baby raptor, of course, and that is part of it. <laughs> but there's also a couple other stories that it's pretty interesting to see how they used the past actors from Jurassic Park, brought them into this story, and it flow it flowed pretty well. I gotta say, it's not, you know, Jurassic World. Um, the second one, oh, what was it called? I can't forget. I forget what the second one was called. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that one wasn't uh, as smooth. It felt like literally two different stories just combined. Where this one definitely felt more fluid. Uh, it just felt like everything worked, even though there's you know two to three storylines going on at once until probably what the last. 40 minutes, 30 minutes, yeah, last 40 minutes or so, 30 minutes, um, it's, it's interesting, the path that they chose, and everything, I think it works, it works really well, um, it is a long movie, and besides the opening parts, uh, showing how the dinosaurs have come into the world and everything, uh, it, it does slow down quite a bit, <laughs> It gets a little, a little slow, a little long, because they're setting everything up. But once it kicks off, it kicks off pretty well. And it's, it stays at a pretty high rate uh, after that once it kicks off. And, man, it's, it's a long movie. It's about 2 hours, 40 minutes. And it does kind of feel like that, especially at the start. But once it starts kicking off, it definitely goes by a lot faster. Uh, they bring in a new act. Actress, um, I don't know her name, but she's pretty cool. She's pretty badass, <laughs> to say the least. She's the pilot from the uh, trailers that flies them, and you know she holds her own. She, I think she comes into it really well. Uh, the side characters they bring back a couple people from Jurassic World, and they, it, everything just seems to fit pretty well. I think. Whoever wrote this did a really good job as far as making, you know, branching stories come back to one and just writing in all these characters to somewhat make sense. Um, there's one smuggler uh, person that it's uh, pointless. I mean, <laughs> it seemed like there was going to be more to him, but no, there wasn't. It was pretty one note which okay you know it, they, they served their purpose pretty much um, the main baddie the, you know the main guy you kind of already figure who it is but it's not so much about it's it's the journey as far as you know going through um, the show the, the, the show the series and enjoying watching all these dinosaurs interacting with people which I gotta say, some of the interactions are really well done. It, 
it's especially at the start this one it's really good and man they definitely took their time on, on uh making sure these interactions look really good they use a lot more puppets a lot more uh you know real life animatronics and stuff like that which some of them look amazing some look kind of you know cheap but i mean it's the uncanny valley a lot of times it's dinosaurs it's they're in the real world yeah we know so um but yeah man it's it's pretty cool i i think the the intense scenes that come around are really good um there's a lot of good callbacks to the original movies as well as the jurassic world series movies before this one um yeah man it just like i said it is long but once it kicks off it it kicks off and lots of action lots of really crazy set pieces the camera work is pretty interesting a lot of times um the different dinosaurs that they use are pretty immense i mean they use probably at least 20 different species um uh, if not more and it's cool seeing them interact with you know the real world pretty much and seeing the size comparison seeing how much bigger how much smaller you know how you know different how quick they are and stuff like that it's cool i like it i mean i've always liked the jurassic park jurassic world movies uh I've, of course i can nitpick them you know every day i think the original one was pretty much the best <laughs> of them all uh, but they all have their traits they all have their you know their own quirks and specialties and they have have their own story of course that they tell but yeah this one i think it wraps up everything pretty well i enjoy it um lots of music man sometimes i think there's a little bit too much music just because they're playing it to get you know some more emotional depth to certain scenes and stuff which works because you know the actors are good they're, they're if not great um nobody felt like they're just phoning it in uh nobody felt undercast you know everybody felt up to the tasks and you know some of the scenes of course yeah they could have toned down the music a little bit but i see what they're going for uh but yeah so recommend it if you like jurassic park jurassic world movies if you just want to see how it ends at all uh saw me, i saw adobe atmos which the sound was pretty intense especially with the dinosaurs lots of bass uh, i'm sure imax would be just as good as well because they have some pretty crazy speakers and visuals but yeah man this is definitely one of those movies you want to see on a bigger screen a bigger theater just to fill that base but hey <laughs> not everybody likes the big ones so but until next time guys later